Good evening everyone and welcome along to the channel and PGA Tour 2K23 for our next course playthrough which today we are going to be checking out Crooked Cypress CC. Now this course has been out for a while, I did mention in pre uh, previous video, uh, Winstonian Trail, that I am playing a little bit of catch up with course playthroughs. So this one was released roughly as early April, I think it was around about the first week or so of April. Uh, so a little bit behind, I know there is a few other course playthroughs of it out, but uh, I'm only just getting around to doing it now as I say. I did actually screenshot it, it was posted to the All Platforms group that uh, I'm admin of over on Facebook. And I did actually screenshot uh, the post of it to keep track to keep track but of course i'm forever taking screenshots of memes and such uh so it kind of got lost in there and I forgot all about it until uh mike one of the designers uh did actually comment on a video a few weeks ago asked me what i check it out so finally getting around to doing it but uh, yeah this one is actually it's a collaborative uh design by a yelnam nevitz i hope i'm pronouncing that right and also ohio ohio state mike so uh we are going to be doing the usual we're going to keep everything on default let's just see what we're going to be playing from first we're going to keep it on pin set one as we always do and we're going to play from the white tees which are 7655 yards uh let's have a little look at our course details just show it as just again that everything is on default to win the whole lot uh so our course details we are going to have soft fairways firm greens and fast green speed i think that's around about the 150 160 mark in and around about that range i think weather's overcast and time of day is afternoon so uh yeah the screenshots that were posted um from when it was designed uh over on facebook it do look great i'm looking forward to getting into this one um i'm, for, I'm gonna have to do a second similar to winstonian trail i'm actually gonna have to do a second uh playthrough of the course just to try and find somewhere for a thumbnail because unfortunately with being designed on console um there's no way to take uh screenshots like you can't get up to a decent height as you know we haven't got the free cam like over on pc um, so it has those horrible yellow lines from in the designer when you're taking a, a thumbnail picture for it. But um, yeah, so I'll have to do another another playthrough and grab a screenshot for uh, for the thumbnail. But kicking things off anyway, without rambling on anymore. First hole, par four, 375 yards, and it is up eight feet and looking very nice and nice off the tee with the uh, the trees and stuff. Kind of given the with the sky, giving it a bit of a dampish, muggy sort of feeling. A little bit uh, atmospheric, if that's the right word to use. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see how the first tee shot goes. I have played a couple of rounds already, but um, not, not playing too bad. But let's see how it goes. Uh, a bit of a push and a slow off the tee. I think we're finding trouble already. <laughs> Couldn't have timed it better. Be back in a second. Here's the bloody ice cream van again. Every time. Okay, he stopped his jingle. I might hear... Just some voices in the background. Uh, he's parked not too far from my house, so I uh, might just hear a few of the kids and I'll like get an ice cream, or whatever. Because uh, it is, it is actually for once quite a lovely day. We're starting to get the good weather in uh, again in Dublin. Out bloody time. <laughs> it's still kind of cold in the morning, but we're we're slowly but surely getting the decent weather in. We'll get a week of summer at some stage. Right, seventy five uh, yards in, up nine feet. So it's going to play about seventy eight. Uh, we are in the heavy rough, so gap wedge might be okay. Just get it on the green is the main thing. Oh, it's under a slope. That's coming up shy. Or is it? Kick on. All right, we got a birdie putt. So, still potentially get away. Yeah, looking very nice so far. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't think. I don't know. I don't think atmospheric isn't the word that I'm looking for. It's it's another word. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's right there. But uh, we'll just we'll say atmospheric anyway. Um, right, 20 feet up 4 inches. I uh, just had a quick glance up there as well, which has caused me to push the living crap out of that ball. But uh, 164 is the green speed. Should have waited until uh, till after doing that one. All right, so hopefully get away with par here. I have to find... Um, I did take a quick break after playing a couple of rounds to warm up. Uh, about 10, 15 minute break. So I just have to find the angle of the controller again to get my swing line sorted out. But hole number two is a par five and it's 549 yards up one foot. Wind isn't too bad. In single digits at the moment we have got water and play down the left here with the uh, the creek or stream whichever you prefer to call it so i think we'll put a little bit of draw on here and just a slight bit more to the right oh we're hitting the tree 
nope, just clearing it. That's not too bad of a swing line there, but got a nice perfect. Now we'll get us safely into the fairway. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a very Irish sky actually. Real grey and muggy and gloomy. <laughs> Right, a little bit of a small green to work with air uh, to come in here on a par five, but we are going to go for it. It is reachable, 257, going to play about 260. Um, what did I say the greens are? The greens are firm? Greens are firm, aren't they? Uh, so I put a little bit of draw on it again. Hopefully that's not going to be a mistake with the trees down the right-hand side. A little fast. Looks like it's tracking around pretty good, though. All right, we're on. Is it going to hold? Or is it going to feed its way off at the speed? That's a great approach, actually. We have a good look at an eagle here. Make up for that horrendous birdie put on the previous hole. Little to no break. I think we're just, aiming, just right of the pin. Again, terrible putt line, but it's got there anyway. We are now two under through two. Okay, so the standard two par fives, two par threes on the front. Um, again, I didn't look. I, I guessing that it's a par seventy two. Uh, we'll find out once we get to the the back nine, I suppose. Uh, hole number three though is par four, and it's four hundred and sixty four yards up seven feet. Um, generous landing area here. I've got to keep those two bunkers in mind though. Slight draw. Little slow, it's not going to turn as much. Nice working of the, the car path there. Just look at the fence and stuff off to the left of the tee there. We'll just come back. Winding its way off up through the trees. And of course I'm changing shots now. It's going between the two games. We'll just reset the shot. Um, all right, we've got a tiny, tiny little pond over here to the right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be drawn to that somehow. There's a will, there's a way. Single bunker guarding the green to the left. 148 in, down 5 feet. So it's going to play about 146. Um, Pitching wedge might be alright. Maybe the wind can do a little bit of something with it. Actually, maybe just a little bit of D-loft. We are on quite an upslope. Slight slope. Push the hell out of it again. We're just turning nice. 102% power. It's on and almost in. Just left of the hole. He's content with it. Let's see if we can drop it in for a birdie. Very little break again. And we do. That is three under through three. Okay, hole number four. Par four. 453 yards up at 15 feet. Wind is dying right down now, so if we can stay that way, I'll be happy. A lovely view off this tee. Over the water, and do we want to take the driver? Fairways, fairways are soft, aren't they? Will we take the driver? Um, no, I think we'll pull back. We'll pull back to the three, because it looks like we might just run out fairway. A little bit of a pull off the tee. Hopefully should be okay though. Yeah, we're missing that bunker to the left. Comfortably into the fairway. Leaves us with 182 up 21. So about 189 with that wind. 183. I think we'll play 173. Just hopefully it'll run out. How's the lie? A little bit below the feet. Yeah, I pushed it with the slow. Can it still get there though? Kick on. It does. Alright, so we got ourselves a birdie putt and it's getting up there nice. That's not a bad run out. It's a good look at birdie. Okay, 15 feet. I want to say it's not going to be a full one and a half. Maybe just outside the green a little bit. Get there. It's in. All right. That's four under. As we move on to hole number five, another par four, 478 yards up three feet wind, picking itself back up again. Uh, more water and play. Big tree. Slap bang in the middle of the fairway here. 
So let's slight draw. Just kind of turn it against that 7 mile per hour wind. Hopefully thread it between the tree and the bunker. And... Yep, there's one of the cars up the road. <laughs> That's uh, had a little bit of tuning done to it. That's a nice tidy swing line. Not bad at all. Perfect tempo as well. But uh, yeah, typical of the bloody ice cream van. <laughs> I think he knows when I'm going to try and record during the day. He's like, right, now, pounce. <laughs> I, I, I'd love to actually go back through the, uh, the library of videos and see how many times I've been interrupted by him coming into the estate. Um with me recording because I say I, I traditionally would record latish at night but uh, when I have the chance to record during the day I do um, but let me see 177 I'm gonna play about 178 with that wind we'll try the seven iron against that wind but uh, yeah I was actually I was just gonna say as well with the good weather coming in now the summer coming up because uh, we're just fast approaching the end of May um, that was a solid approach um, yeah, the good better coming in, obviously it's going to get a little bit more lively where I live. So it's even at night it's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult to get videos done um, during the daytime. Especially once the kids have finished school and they're off on their, their summer holidays. It's uh, it's going to be a bloody nightmare. going to really have to carefully pick, pick my times to start recording. But uh, I'll, I'll power through it anyway. So hole number six, as we move on, I believe this is the first part three of the round, isn't it? Um, it's 209 yards, teeing off over the water. Uh, lovely view off the tee, very big uh, dead tree off to uh, the right of the green there. Really kind of stands out. I've got a smaller one there, but it really stands out, that one does. Um, and plenty of room to work with on this green. Uh, let me see with the wind. Well, I'm going to try a 5 iron. See if that can run itself up towards the hole. A little fast. That's what I wanted. I was holding straight against that left to right 5 mile per hour wind. And it is on, but it's not really running. As far as I was hoping. You can see the shadow of the flag stick. That's about it. So we got 19 feet for the birdie, up 3 inches. Don't think it's going to break overly aggressive. On turn. Alright, it's in. That takes us to 6 under par. Okay, we are moving along nicely here. Just that single par so far. And that was indeed the first par, first par 3 of the round. We got the second par five of the round coming up now for number seven, which is 582 yards down 30 feet. Got our lighthouse off to uh, to the right here. This is act. This is actually this tee shot is actually one of the screenshots from um, from over on the Facebook group. Okay, and we should get over that tee. I'd say yeah. Maybe put a little bit of fade on as well. Put a bit of height and a bit of fade on it just because it's downhill, just to help it with the wind as well. Clear over that tree. No problem. A little fast, pushed it again, but now we're safe. I think if I had left it where it defaulted me, I might have flirted a little bit with that bunker. But that is going to leave us with 270 yards in, up 7 feet. So about 272, we have a sunken ship off in the distance there. Um, so we can try and maybe play it here. Let the wind bring it around. and Sorry, just check and make sure. I, I thought that my mic was muted there for a second. Um, yeah, try and bring it around and see if we can work the slope of the green. Uh oh, that's too fast. That's going straight for the bunker. Oh, no, yeah, we're in. I thought I was going to skip past it there for a second. All right, a little splash shot. First one of the round. Let's see how this goes. Splash shot. The couple of warm-up rounds that I had splash shots weren't working the best. I wasn't, uh, wasn't feeling them. That one will do nicely. And will give us a good look at a birdie. From seven feet, very minimal break again. 
make sure to get it through the break and in she goes and that will take us to seven under par second and final par three of the front nine coming up now for number eight and it is measuring 182 yards up 18 feet so it's going to play about 188 now with that headwind uh say 195 196 ish so five iron hopefully should be enough to get there and hopefully sit nice and quick lovely view off this tee with the trees and the light in the back just sort of silhouetting them all right we got the perfect kind of slightly pushed it but if it has the legs to get up there oh settle down all right that's not bad solid approach again it's trying to turn back i think might be a looks a little bit left to right put maybe slightly down one inch down good uh or a considerable left to right break should i say again i think that's going to be just outside the green oh oh i shoot it and that is another brother we are on a run here on the front nine Let's see if we can go for 9 under through 9 with par 4 coming up to finish things off. Hit the turn and start heading back in. So number 9 is going to measure 480 yards up 4 feet, teeing off over big lake. Feed into that uh, creek stream which is going to then feed off down into the ocean. And dead tree surrounded by a bunker here in sort of landing area. But I think with the wind, this is actually a kind of tricky one because I, there's a little pond up there just right where the windmere is. I just spotted that. First I thought it was rocks, then I saw just the, the little shimmers of the water moving. So do we want to take driver off the tee? That's the question. It's tr there's a lot of danger here off this tee shot, but we'll go for it. But a little bit of draw. Turn it away from that little pond, but hopefully not smash the living hell out of it and hook it over to the creek. Or again, stream, whichever you prefer. Oh, miss it, miss it. We're through. <laughs> Flirt with danger on all angles there, I think. Uh, it's going to leave us with 186 yards in, up four feet. So about 187, 170, say maybe 175 to 178 or so. So let me see, we're on an eight iron. Mm, no, I think, yeah, we'll go, I said 8 iron, we're on a 7 iron, I was thinking of dropping it back to an 8 iron, but no, I don't think the 8 is going to get there, Um. so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll loft up a little bit the, the 7 iron, see how we get on, ball is pretty level at the feet, now, got the fast, needs to just turn a little bit more, but it should have the distance to get on, it does, Oh, I didn't need the loft, actually. That sat quick. And I was trying to turn away from the hole, so I think we're going to have a little bit of an uphill pull. Again, didn't look at the uh, the slopes of the green. A little bit uphill, somewhat away. 28 feet up, one foot. Um, and I think we'll go about one and a half for this. Looks like it will turn quite a bit. Pushed it. It's not turning. Wait, hold on. Oh! Just started turning a little bit too late. So, just going to be a par to finish off the front nine. So, it's a par to start it, par to finish it, but we are eight under. So, we hit the turn. And to kick off the back nine for number 10, we have par four, 484 yards up seven feet. Again, lovely lighting off the tee, just the silhouetting for coming through the trees as well. And a uh, nice little pond, or small lake pond, off to the right again, perfectly in uh, the landing zone. But that was actually for a three wood, so we will hit a good, a good draw off the tee here. Try and get it around that tree. That's right where the aim marker is. Looks like we got it, pushed it. But yeah, we did. We got it comfortably. Maybe the push is a good thing. Maybe we've got that kind of straighter. It might have flirted a little bit with that bunker on its turn. But saving the fairway, 185 yards left up two feet. So we'll keep it about 185 with that wind. Um, a lofted five iron might be okay. Oh, 
Oh, I really snapped my thumb forward there again. I'm just going to take a quick sip of the tea while this approaches. Okay, so just missed the green, 15 yards left, little chip shot. Pull it back another tiny bit, bit of loft, good bit of spin. Is it gonna run? Come on, turn, turn. That was reluctant to take the break there. But it will leave us a little tap in par. I'm gonna stay eight under. At eight under for now, if I can get my words out. All right, hole number 11, first par five of the back nine. 570 yards, so reachable up two feet. Um, ooh, ooh, now I'm tempted. Bit of a tricky wind, but if we can get this right, not snap the thumb forward and hook it. A slight overpower hopefully will counter the wind and we can get over the creek. And onto that second fairway. Uh oh, it is slow. It's trying to turn. Got 104%. Uh oh, no, that's wet. <laughs> A fast, maybe. It was worth it. It was worth an attempt, but unfortunately, she got wet. All right. Third shot from the first fair. At the end of the first fairway, still 280 yards in. Um. Try and trace, chase a driver up there off the t off the deck. Sure, why not? We're going to be going for well, unless we can get a good shot here. Going to be going for par. Oh, it's a slow. I think we're wet again. Ooh, trying to flirt. <laughs> it's turned back though. It's dry, or is it? Yeah, <laughs> heavy rope saved us there. So definitely going for par here. Um, I'll take a flop shot in. Uh, let's say maybe about there should be okay. Okay, released well. A little bit more on that, maybe. Might have threatened the hole. Because it was turning back for it, but unfortunately, on a par 5, it's going to be a par. Just due to the gamble taking it off the tee. Try and carry to that second fairway. But at least we did not drop one. So hole number 12 is a par 4. And it measures 426 yards up one foot. 10 mile per hour wind from behind. It's trying to pick up a little bit. So let me see the trees here. Maybe if we aim there. About halfway out on the draw. Maybe pull it back just a little bit. And I believe I can hear that car is about to come back out again. And that's beautifully into the fairway. Leaving us with 104 yards up two feet. So going to play basically 104. I'm not going to adjust that at all. Uh, I do. Do we want to pitch actually? Let me see what our shot on the lob is going to do. That might be okay. A bit of spin on it. See if the wind can carry it in there. Slide fast, 102%. It's turning nicely, though. And that's a solid shot in there. Leaves us a little tap in for the birdie. Very slight left to right. I tried to turn a little bit more than, than I thought it was going to. But that will take us to nine under par. First birdie of the back nine. So for hole number 13, unlucky for some, par 3, 189 yards up 12 feet. Going to play about 193 with the wind. We'll pull it back to about 188-ish. Um, lovely tee shot over water here. Nice little, um, actually is it the same for both? Have we got a, is it just a single little island tee? Oof, flip the camera around. Dual island tee boxes. Is that us there? Yeah, that's us there, isn't it? On the, the back one, yeah. Oh yeah, it's only a two pin location or two T locations, should I say, not two pin locations. Um so what did I say? 188-ish roughly with that wind. We'll see if the wind can float in a seven iron, because I think it's lofted six iron. Not comfortable with that. That might still get over the back. Oh, a little fast. That might even get over the back as well. It's horribly pulled to the left. 
No, we are on. Six iron might have been okay, actually, to be fair. But we're left with 31 feet to the pin. Um, do we want to go one and a half? Is it going to turn or is it not going to turn? We'll try, we'll try one and a half. Oh, it's reluctant to turn again. It was uh, it was that subtle there to break. It was a lot more subtle than I thought, should I say, the first half of it. But we'll drop it in for the par. And move ourselves on to hole number 14, which is four hundred uh, par 4, should I say, 491 yards up at 4 feet. Wind is dropping right down again. Uh, maybe just a little bit of fade off the tee here. Very... Uh, narrowish kind of uh, view off the tee here with the trees either side that should be okay it's not going to turn as much of the fast but safe in the fairway good distance 315 yards leaving us 182 up nine so about 185 in call it 190 ish with that wind so will we loft up loft up the five iron, put it up into the wind a little bit. Very slight fast, it's turning nicely back to the hole though. Oh, it's long. Perfect might have been alright, but it's just gonna trickle its way off the back. Leaves a little chip shot. We'll just put spin on this one because it's only a short chip. Ah, oh, the very fast really pulled that to the left. Got the the power. Per it was perfect anyway. Oh, we'll drop it in for the par. Uh, stay at nine under for now. Okay, so the fourth and final par five of the course coming up now for number 15. 576 yards down, 24 feet. So reachable again, provided we hit a solid tee shot. Very generous landing area here. Bunkers either side. So I think a very slight, very slight bit of a uh, draw. Just kind of keep it straight against that wind. And the fast, but it did push it, yeah, so it's, it's all kind of balancing itself out. Centre of the fairway. Well, he was a clear shot at the green, but from what I can see here is the water cutting in front of the green. It is, okay. So we're going to have to draw this one in as well. 256, going to play with 255. So we'll draw it in, we'll keep it maybe, no, aim it slightly left. And hopefully that'll be enough, hopefully. That will be enough. Oh, now that might turn too much. No, we're okay. We are okay. Now, just don't run too far past. Come on, settle down. Settle. All right, we got an eagle put. So how can we get two eagles in the round? That's not a bad break for this put from 25 feet down four inches. I don't even think this wants to hit a green line. gonna hold now it's gonna turn it was a green line damn it just the pace of the beads didn't look like it was gonna be fully out to that but more than happy to take a birdie makes up for the par on number 11 so just the single par 5 didn't take advantage of but hole number 16 par 4 and it's 464 yards down 10 feet and can we funnel it down through that little little bit of a bottleneck in the fairway there? Oh, I pulled the crap out of that again. With the fast, and oh, we're in a spot of butter. In the heavy stuff, and under this tree as well. And that's a lovely view there. All the rock work, and that one house there in the background. A number, uh, number of houses. 
throughout the course out there's one off to the right as well actually no that's not i'll have, have a look actually i never looked at where the, the clubhouse was <laughs> uh, at the start but i'm going to assume will we be getting would you be getting into this house through through a boat have we got a little dock or a jetty off the, the back otherwise you're cutting across the 16th green to, to get in there but very lovely work done on this course i say collaborative design between uh two of the guys not sure how they did it actually uh with it being unless it must have been um what, what bloody hell do you call it uh share play no not it's share play something like that on the playstation where you kind of go back and forth and take turns must have been doing it some way like that. i know you could do it on the ps4 i'm not sure about i'm not sure if they're on ps4 or ps5 but anyway uh let's get our uh, our approach shot in here 152 oh we are stuck down on the heavy rough here as well we're gonna have to bump that up to at least a seven iron oh that was a lot more below the feet than i thought but it's back out in the short stuff anyway leave us maybe a little flop shot onto the green 31 gonna play about 33 yeah i'll take a flop shot from there Maybe just push that up a little bit. We're on quite an upslope. Is that going to release? Uh, put too much spin on it. So I might drop a shot here. A little bit of a double break. I'm kind of tempted to keep it straight. At the pin. Maybe just go just inside the right edge. Turn back. Good call. That was center of the cup. So not as um, an eventful back nine as was on the front nine. That was one solid run from hole through through to eight. But number 17 is the final par three of the round. And it is measuring 186 yards down nine feet. So about 183 to the pin. Defaulting on a seven iron. Lovely tee shot over the water again. A little waterfall off to the right there. Just at the, uh, the feedback. And the rock work here to the left. Very nice. This is a very, very nice hole. I think um, I think I am going to very quickly just uh, I'll edit this out, but I think this is going to be my thumbnail. So while I have this, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna I'll edit all this out. I'm just gonna take everything off the screen and uh, get a little screenshot of this. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so there we go. That is my thumbnail done. Unfortunately, as I say, it just it takes a couple of minutes to do it actually to go in through the, the difficulty settings to hold that, take everything off the screen, take a screenshot, and then bring everything back on. Unfortunately, it's just not as easy as it is as just hitting a single key on a keyboard um, to get into things and stuff like that over on PC like the, the guys are able to do. But uh, yeah, just to recap uh, for myself anyway, because I say it's been a couple of minutes uh, for par 386, going to play about 183, defaulting onto 7 iron. A um, little bit of room to work with on the, the shot in. Single bunker garden, but we have got the little creek running through here um, to definitely screw me over again. Um, oh, excuse me, that T is repeating on me now. Uh, so let me see, 183. I think we'll take the 6 iron in. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, that's a nice swing. Just not turning as much as I thought it would with the wind, but we are <laughs> just about making it onto the green. How, um, actually, yeah, I'll have a look at the scorecard now in a second. I'm not sure what they are. I can't remember what the, the par 3 performance has been like so far for the round, but can we get a birdie on this one, number 17, from 22 feet? Definitely looks like it's going to be a green line at least anyway. Is it? A, no, it's turning a little bit too much. Just another hair. And I actually did push that slightly as well. So just go. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon there. It's just going to be a... A par, I was going to say, but we are unfortunately dropping the first shot of the round on number 17. Oh, I thought we were going to have a clean scorecard. Oh, it's been tarnished. Yes, <laughs> absolutely brilliant front nine. Just a, a par to start it and a par to finish it, but back nine has just not been... Um, 
not been as eventful I suppose is one way to put it but number 18 let's finish it off par 4 458 yards 8 mile per hour wind from left to right that one lone dead tree off there just to the right of the fairway plenty of water double fairway here we have actually and uh, I like that sorry two tiered sorry what course is it what course is it has something similar something very similar I don't think it has the retaining wall oh I can't think of it but of course it's very very similar sort of uh, tee shot and I cannot think of the name of it. lovely rock work along the uh, the coast of the course there as well and off to uh, to the left here also and there's our cat cat cart path even winding its way down between this pond here I'm kind of splitting off as well oh our clubhouse yes where is our clubhouse which one is it is this our clubhouse I hate that I can't work the camera ah uh, there's our club I think that's our clubhouse down there I think I can see we'll have a quick look up beside the lighthouse um but we have got another car park actually back here I'm not going to start messing around going down through clubs so I presume that's maybe maybe for those houses over there could well be but let's get our final tee shot out of the way i think i'll try and play for this higher higher fairway kind of let the wind pull it across away from uh, those bunkers and the retaining wall that's the intention look if that hits the retaining wall god knows where it's going no we're okay i was gonna say god knows where it'll go it could go anywhere and there's water on both sides as well but we are safe into the fairway 306 yards off the tee leaves us 165 in gonna play about 163 but let's have a little look around our clubhouse real quick so let me see we have a lovely little pond a little bridge over it actually that's a nice little touch there bridge leading over um and then i think yeah we've got a little practice screen over here to uh to our left or if you're coming out to the right I think this was our first tee yeah this is our first tee over here isn't it let's zoom in there no it's the fifth okay right where's the first tee let's see if I can find that uh, I think it's over here yes this is our yeah here's uh, hole number one <clears throat> excuse me uh, so yeah coming out the other side of the clubhouse there oh again bridge over the water to uh to the first tee but absolute beautiful course and lighting has done very well i say it's i, I said i was saying earlier on in the video about atmospheric and but more kind of um i suppose you, you could use that as a uh, one way of saying it just the way that the lighting is done and all the trees and stuff like that but uh again a very irish very it, it, that's a very typical irish sky dark gloomy and gray but it uh, really sets the tone for the course. Very, very nice. Right, let's get our final approach shot done. 165 in, down six feet. Going to play about 163. Just recap myself because I had like a save so far this week. Uh, so let me see. Eight iron in. Maybe a slight little touch of lofted spin on it. How's the ball? Slightly below the feet. Oh, got a perfect. Very slight push though. Let's chase it and see how it does. It's on the green anyway. So solid final approach and leaves us a good look at a birdie. Hopefully we can pull back that drop shot. What are we at? Are we at nine under or is it eight under? We're at nine under, so we can potentially get a ten under par around here. Uh slight double break. Do we want to just push it through both of them? It's 18 feet up four. Get in. That will do. Back to 10 under par. Pull back that drop shot on 17. Oh, that one tarnish on the uh, on the scorecard otherwise would have been a clean one. But uh, that is a fantastic course. And uh, just apologies has taken once again, similar to um Winstonian Trails, apologies has taken so long for me to actually get around to uh, to doing it. But uh really, really enjoyed that one. Um solid, solid, but let's go over to the scorecard real quick. But absolutely actually let me uh, just have a little look there. What was the um round stats uh so 85 percent fairways 77 percent greens and 1.33 put uh bleh, puts per hole but uh yeah onto the scorecard that front nine was unbelievable part to start a part to finish it but um otherwise solid run for eight under 
heading out and then heading back in just uh two under par on the back nine then but uh yeah 10 under round absolutely fantastic course and uh, yeah just once again apologies for it taking so long for me to get it out because it was published back early in february but uh yeah that is crooked cypress cc which as i did say at the start of the video is a collaborative design between uh let me just get your name back up on the screen yelnam nevitz again hope i'm pronouncing it correctly and also ohio state mike absolutely fantastic course thoroughly enjoyed that one it has got quite a lot of plays already with it being out for uh coming up about a month and a half we'll say uh, but if you have not played it already do make sure to get out there check it out and give it a try yourself you will enjoy it so that is where we are going to leave this one thank you all very much for watching i hope you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to drop it a like and if you have not done so already or you are just brand new to the channel do consider subscribing and i will talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now